Hello, John Tennyson here. I'm here tonight on October the 2nd, 2020, on a Friday night in San Antonio, Texas, because I have been challenged by two nurses with whom I work. One is Chrissy Tijerina, the other is Michelle Campos. They have challenged me to take the Pocky One Chip Challenge. I'm pretty new to this. I've never taken the One Chip Challenge before. I've tried very small pieces of Carolina Reaper, but nothing I expect that will be of the magnitude of this. Um, those of you who are familiar with this know that this is a blue tortilla chip. There's a warning on the back. I'll read it briefly. It says, do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers, nightshades, or capsaicin, or are pregnant or have any medical conditions. Keep out of the reach of children. After touching the chip, Wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas. Seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. I have heard that some people actually throw up after eating the Pocky One Chip. So I have this bucket just in case I need to throw up. Okay, this is a sealed box, okay? I don't know if you can see, but it's factory sealed. It has not been opened. This was purchased and delivered to me just today. So what I'm going to do is use this box cutter and I'm going to open the little plastic areas on the sides here carefully <laughs> and I don't want to cut my finger that would kind of stand in the way okay so put this down and the box is now open okay I'm going to open the box by the way you've noticed it's shaped like a coffin all right so there it is there's a chip in that bag it says Pocky one chip challenge Skull and crossbones, that says 2020. I'm assuming that's standing for the year. Okay. Um, I'm going to put the lid back on the box. Put that right there. I'm going to wear gloves, okay? I'm just being cautious. And uh, put these gloves on. I don't know if I really need these gloves, but I'm going to put them on anyway. Okay. Whew. I am scared. I am scared that this is going to hurt. I know that... The total magnitude of capsaicin that's in this chip is probably greater than anything I've ever tried at any one time. And um, the challenge, of course, is once you put the chip in your mouth, you try, you chew it up, and, and I'm going to try to eat it at a normal rate. I'm not going to try to just swallow it down and cheat so it doesn't have a chance to soak into my tongue. But the chip challenge is, of course, to wait as long as you can. And I'm going to try to wait as long as I can. I have as backup, I have ice water, I have half and half, and I have heavy whipping cream. These are my backups. I'm going to try to avoid, any, once I use any one of those, I have then ended the time that I have that I have set for my personal ability to go without having any relief. Okay, here we go. Once I put the chip in my mouth, I'm going to start my timer on my iPad. Okay, and I'll try to verbalize and, and make comments. Okay, it is a dark colored tortilla chip. I do see some kind of darkish powder coming off of my finger. Um, okay, once I start biting into it, I'm going to start the clock, the timer. Here we go. Yeah, it's hot. <clears throat> okay. Residue on the glove. <clears throat> has Carolina Reaper powder on it. Okay. The gloves are clean. I'm going to lick the glove. Mm. Mm. It's warm. It is warm. Mm -hmm. Still in my mouth. Mm. I'm not going to wash it down with water. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, that was hot. It is getting hotter. Lord, it's, it's, it's increasing. I'm not going to lick my fingers anymore. Oh, boy. Ah, <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm going to make it through this. I'm going to take off the gloves. <clears throat> just to get those out of the way. Ah. Mm. Mm. My phone is going off. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Oh, bad mm. My family is in the audience. Okay, it's hot. Ah, yep. Mm. 
I think I can make it through this, but it is hot. Mmm, Lord. Okay, it's hot. When I breathe in, that has a cooling effect. When I breathe out, it makes it feel hotter. So I'm only going to breathe in. <laughs> My eyes are cheerful. Ah. Oh, Lordy. I don't know if you can see my eyes. Huh. I'm assuming my face is probably red. Ah. It is hot. This is not pleasant. I think I can survive. But honestly, I'm using the air to cool my tongue. I hope that's not cheating. Because... That's hard not to do. Lord. <laughs> Increased salivation. Oh. oh, man. Tear coming down my left cheek. I can, I can feel it. Oh, tear coming down my right cheek. Ah. Oh. Okay. Ah. Ah. Not fun. Not pleasurable. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> so that you can continue to see my face, I'm going to let my son James, who's laughing right now, say how much time has elapsed. Say it out loud, James, really loud. Three minutes. And 35 seconds. That's all? Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> Is it worth the internet points yet? My son Jack says I might get internet points. Uh, Jack, speak up and say closer to the camera what are internet points? Just, it, it's just a vague term used by internet funny men to describe uh, ve just like any sort of credit you can get on the internet, like subscribers, followers, stuff like that. Uh, um, well, <clears throat> Just because I'm not a masochist, but for those of you who are sadistic out there, I hope that you are enjoying this. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I don't feel it's getting worse. Um, but it was hot. I will say it's probably the case um, that... The overall magnitude of hotness. Your tongue, you know, you sound like your tongue is swollen. I'm just having trouble talking because ah, my wife, could you speak up, Andrea, my wife? You sound like your tongue is swollen. She says I sound like my tongue is swollen, and it might be. I think... My lips are burning a little bit. My tongue is burning the most. <sighs> um, I never, I know this for a fact. I have never gone this long without giving myself relief from ice water or something with high fatty content like half and half or whole milk or whipping cream. I've never used half and half or whipping cream to get relief from a capsaicin based substance. But I didn't know what to expect. So I bought these as kind of a brute force approach. Honestly, I think I can get to 30 minutes. Because I think I've, even though ah, my nose is running, my eyes are cheerful. Does my face look red? Yes. Yes, very much. <laughs> okay. Woo! Well, you got... Now speak up, because you're behind the camera. You got six minutes now. Okay. Six minutes. Yes. <laughs> ah. Nine seconds. Woo. Okay. What well, ranking is six minutes a part of, like, lightweight? Uh, I don't know. But I think the worst of it is over. Um, yeah. Um, I think the worst of it probably was maybe it peaked around three minutes. I don't know. When do you guys think I look like I was suffering the most? 
Hey, tell me, speak up and say how loud. About a, uh, like, like a minute, right minute, now. minute and a half ago. Oh, about five minutes? Yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't looking at the time. <clears throat> so, I don't feel nauseous. I had some food in my stomach. I did have a glass of milk earlier, which was, of course, in my stomach by now, but um, that might be a buffer. But all of the pain I feel, of course, is in my tongue, a little bit in my lips. I don't feel any pain in my eyes. My eyes are not burning. I know they're tearful. And my nose is running. And I am told that my face is red. Whoo, okay, but I uh, am not painful. Um, I might suffer some GI tract pain later, but that's not going to be part of the video. Woo! Okay, so I think the worst of it is over. I'm looking down, I'm seeing that glass of water, I'm thinking, oh, it's time to drink water. I'm thinking, oh, no, it's the challenge. So, <laughs> so, <clears throat> the Pocky one chip challenge. Okay. The primary ingredient, of course, being Carolina Reaper. It has some other pepper ingredients. However, as advertised, the Carolina Reaper component is the most potent. Now, as you guys probably know, at least at some point in time, the Carolina Reaper held the record as being the world's highest pepper. But the active ingredient in all of these peppers, or at least the one that has the primary contribution to the sense of hotness is, of course, capsaicin. And in theory, I can make any food product from a Carolina Reaper or any other pepper that have capsaicin, and depending on how much I diluted it or concentrated it, I can still advertise it being made from Carolina Reaper. Or any <clears throat> If you breathe in wrong, it'll, it'll irritate your throat. It's not painful, but it just makes you cough. So as if some of it's, you know, in the in the air pipe. You got nine minutes now. Nine minutes, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Um, well, I don't even know what I was saying. But uh, what I was saying is that I could, let me just give an example. I could take a Carolina Reaper, and if I dilute it a lot, I could make something that's not hot at all and still truthfully advertise it's made from Carolina Reapers. Or I could take Carolina Reaper pepper, and I could concentrate its capsaicin, and truthfully advertise it's made from Carolina Reapers and make something that's even hotter per volume than a Carolina Reaper pepper. So, you know, this, I will say, I once tried one little tiny piece of a Carolina Reaper just to see how hot it was. It was dried Carolina Reaper pepper, both a piece of skin and the seed, and it was hot. But the overall magnitude of hotness that I have experienced tonight with this is greater. Now, that's not necessarily to say that if I had a whole Carolina Reaper pepper, that that would not be as hot as this. I'm just saying compared to that very small piece, maybe a three millimeter uh, diameter piece of pepper and a, and a seed, this overall is hotter. Um, but anyway, the other things on the box, on the bottom it says, warning, it hurts like hell. Well, I hope hell would hurt more than this. It was uncomfortable. Uh, it was not pleasurable. It was unpleasant. Um, I'm, <clears throat> I do like capsaicin and peppers and things with capsaicin in them as a food flavor, but my what I use is every day pretty much is sriracha sauce. Sriracha sauce has a really great balance of capsaicin to the sauce itself and whatever I'm putting it on. This would be too much. Uh, this, this would be too much. It would drown out it's like listening to a rock band and having the drummer play so loud that you can't hear anything else. It's like, great, you can hear the drummer, but I'd like to hear the whole mix. I'd like to taste all the flavors in my food. Can't do it with something this hot. But uh, still, it's interesting. Um, on the top, it says, it's on. Okay, and I do like their creativity. This, this is a very well-marketed product. Um, I will save this box. I want to say thank you to Chrissy Tijerina and David Tijerina for purchasing this and gifting it to me so that they would have the chance to see me suffer in this video. Also, shout out to Michelle Campos 
Thank you very much for, for encouraging me. Um, also, thank you to my wife, Andrea, who, when I texted her and told her that my nurses were trying to kill me, she said, do it, go for it. So here I am. And uh, I don't know, does any, I have my family. I have Jack and Joe. Uh, Joe might be another one. I see, I see Jack and James right here. But if you guys speak up, do you have any words? If you can just talk loudly so the camera can hear you. Uh, yes, I do have some words. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Blademaster Plays at YouTube.com. Okay, That's yes. Plays with a Z, and Blademaster is spelt with a bunch of numbers replacing the letters. That's right. My son Jack, is, his name on YouTube is Blademaster Plays. And James, James, speak up. I cannot he, resist a shout out opportunity. I am sorry it is in my nature. Blame this guy for birthing me. <laughs> yes. James, speak up and say a few words. I don't know. I don't really want to shout out, but um, I can say my brother's name on YouTube. It's BL4D3M45TR. Okay. And James, you have a YouTube channel as well, don't you? Yes. Yes, so as well. Could I just put them in like the description, like links in the description. Yeah, we can do that. We're just talking because we're waiting for the clock to go by. Yeah, so, you got 13 minutes. Hey, 13 minutes. I might as well make an hour-long video. Although I'm not sure if my iPad has enough time on its battery to go for a full hour. Whew, okay. So, just to read a few more things about this. Um, what does this say? Nutrition facts. Okay. <laughs> Let's open up the box again. There was, a, there was a little insert in the box. Okay. One chip challenge. You versus the Reaper. Yeah, that's very clever. By the way, I want to say, <clears throat> on the outside, distributed by Pocky.com in Austin, Texas. Yay, Texas. All right. And, well, um... Something was made in the... Well... It, I don't know if it was made in Texas. It said it's distributed uh, by Pocky. Now, it could have been made in China, but it's distributed by a company that's in Texas. Texas. So who knows where it's made? Uh, I don't know. Certified gluten-free. That's, that's nice. Um, okay, so here they actually... <laughs> um, what to expect. Maybe I should have read this before I ate it. What to expect. Made with Carolina Reaper pepper, scorpion pepper, and I hope, I don't know if this is Szechuan or Sichuan. It's S-I-C-H-U-A-N, Sichuan peppercorn. Um, so maybe that's a variant of Szechuan. I'm not sure. Uh, this chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Okay, then they give five rounds as if these are the five steps of what you will experience if you eat this. Round one, a spicy punch to the tongue. Round two, a fiery jab to the face. Round three, impaired vision from tears. Well, I don't know that my vision's impaired. I'm just tearful. Round four, a low blow to the gut. Pow. Round five, knockout. Mm. Okay. Well, yes. I am concerned about round four and round five, but that's not going to be part of the video. Okay, so, oh, here's more text. <clears throat> it shows a fighter, like, like the Grim Reaper. It is, it's the Grim Reaper wearing boxing gloves. Hmm, how nice. It says, do you dare go head to head with the Reaper? Rules for the challenge. Number one, eat the entire chip. I did that. Number two, wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. So far, so good. Number three, Post your reaction on social media with pound or hashtag one chip challenge and mention at Pocky Chips. Any last words? Ah, uh, gosh, I've, I've become an advertisement for Pocky Chips. Sell out alert. <laughs> Sell out alert. Uh, apparently, yes, that is what has happened to me. Although it was. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> what? Explain the basis of that. To explain that. Do Speak I even need to explain Rage yeah, Shadow Legends? Yes, you do, because I'm X generation. Please. Rage, Rage Shadow Legends is a turn-based uh, RPG that is sweeping the nation. You've probably heard of it. JK, you have heard of it. 
because every other YouTube has or has been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is actually not a very good game, and I'm going to stop this bit because it's dumb. Okay, thanks for clarifying, though. You got half of 15 minutes, but it's actually 16 minutes and 50 seconds. All right, excellent. So this is just a little advertising flyer. Oh, look, I even... I even have, uh, I can even frame, it's suitable for framing. The Pocky One Chip Challenge Champion 2020. Woohoo! Now, I don't know that I can truly claim I'm the champion because everyone else has a, has a little thing like this that says they're the champion. So who's the real champion, y'all? You know, I do have, by the way, I will say this. I did order some pure capsaicin, uh, which is in a little tube. And it's uh, kind of a white powder. You have to dissolve it in oil because it's not water soluble. As some of you chemists might know, capsaicin has a, a six carbon ring with some side groups. And then it has a, a longer carbon chain. Uh, and it's that carbon chain uh, that gives it its uh, hydrophobic quality. So it basically is a hydrophobic molecule because of all the carbons in it. Um, basically, it's a higher carbon to ratio to those other things that are polarized. But anyway, long story short, it's not soluble in water. So if you want to, I don't advise, I, I'm afraid to try pure capsaicin, although it's all about concentration. I mean, if I could really know the, the absolute amount of capsaicin I was taking, I might start really, really low and see what I could tolerate. But I, I don't know how to do that. I don't, I don't know how to quantify what I purchased. So I just put it in storage and I'm, I'm afraid to even use it. But anyway, uh, if I wanted to, I would dissolve it in oil. And there was some oil that came with it, but you that's what you have to do. You have to dissolve it in oil, get it into solution, and that help, helps it interface better uh, with your pain receptors on your tongue and elsewhere, I, I guess. So anyway, um, so I think let me I, my children have walked away. So let me just see here. It's 18 minutes. I'm going to go for at least 30 minutes, and I might as well just talk ad nauseum. Uh, but I will say that um, the the peak of hotness is over. Um, I mean, without a doubt, it's been it's been true for several minutes now. But I, mean, I can say unquestionably, um, at this point, I, if I had the amount of hotness in my mouth that I have at this time, I would not even be inclined to seek out relief. I, it, it's not even a sense of um, like I need to go drink water right now. Um, but I have been, you know, I've been sweating all day just thinking about this. I've been, I have literally, since Nurse Tijerina and, and Nurse Campos uh, suggested that I do this and made the chip available, um, when I was at work earlier today, my mouth was watering in, in anticipation of something really hot, you know, it, like this. And uh, I was also sweating, okay? And it was not COVID virus. It was anticipation of this moment. And uh, it's real. You know, it's, the tears were real. You know, I'm not an actor. Those were real tear, tears. <laughs> so do I recommend this? Should anyone else try this? Sure. I mean, it's, it's not that, yeah, so where's the honesty? I mean, obviously, here's the, here's the kind of the, the academic. So obviously, this is a company. They want to sell their product. They want to sell as many of these as they can, but they don't want to kill people. I mean, if people were really dying from this or really having adverse health consequences, then that could be serious liability for this company. So there's a balancing act. They have, they could have made this, they could have coated it with pure capsaicin, you know, but they wouldn't do that. You know, that would be more potent than, than like army pepper spray, for example. Uh, so they have to basically decide, okay, we want to advertise it. We want to make it, you know, sound badass. And I think it is, it is hot and it is hotter than what most people have experienced. I think that's probably true. Um, but at the same time, do I think it's, <clears throat> is it like so bad that I would say, oh no, never do this. It was the stupidest thing I've ever done. No. But was I afraid going in? Yeah, I had fear. I, I was fearful. Like, oh gosh, okay. I don't know how bad this is going to be. I think I'll survive. I don't think I'm going to go to the ER. Um, I'm not feeling nauseous <clears throat> at this time. So far, so good. I, it's occasionally like when I breathe a little, little wrong, I still, I can still feel there's a little bit of kind of irritation in the throat, but that's, that's uh, not uncommon. So that doesn't concern me. Um, ooh, what else do I have to say? Um, yeah, but what, I, I wouldn't discourage anyone from trying it. I mean, basically, I think this is a this is a range of hotness that I think most people who are accustomed to having capsaicin-based foods could tolerate just fine. 
um, especially if you psych yourself up for it and pre prepare for something really bad or even painful, then you know I think you're kind of prepared for it. You're prepared to tolerate um, the pain or the hotness. And that's another thing. Where do you where does it become pain? Where where does the flavor of capsaicin, the, what we call that flavor of hotness, where does that become pain? Um, it, it certainly is activating what we consider pain receptors, um, but you know it, I would say it was it was unpleasant. It was tolerable, um, but it's not normally what I call pain. It's not the sensation that I normally would um, call pain. Although it is interesting, they, I think if I if I remember correctly, that the receptors that are activated with capsaicin are the same receptors activated with heat. Um, so it certainly is a is a an emergency or, or a receptor that evolved evolutionary evolutionarily in your body to say, hey, I am getting injured. At least traditionally, evolutionarily speaking, in the past. When those receptors were being activated, people probably were on fire or getting hurt with something actually hot, or or it could be like a pepper, but something that's that was potentially toxic. So, so it could uh, it had an evolutionary purpose, but we co-opted the evolution and turned it into a pleasure instead. Think about that. Lots of parallels, lots of areas where that has happened. Anyway, so the Pocky One Chip Challenge. I don't know what else to say. Um, I think I've read the text inside. Let's see if it has any wording on the inside. Pocky. There's no turning back now, it says. Let's see here. I think I've read that the reaper shows no mercy. I believe I read that before. Um, nutrition facts. Might as well talk about the nutrition facts. <laughs> Servings. One. Serving size, one chip, which is six grams. Amount per serving, calories, 30. Total fat, one gram. 1% 1 DV, saturated fat, zero grams. Trans fat, zero grams. Cholesterol, zero grams. Sodium, 25 milligrams. I'm sorry, cholesterol said zero milligrams, but zero. Total carbs, four grams. Dietary fiber, zero grams. Total sugars, zero grams. Protein, zero grams. Okay. It has no vitamin D, no calcium, no iron, no potassium. And I thought this was going to be my dinner. So I guess I'll have to eat some real food. Okay. It also says, in addition to being distributed by Pocky in Austin, Texas, it says it's copyrighted. 2020 by Amplify Snack Brands Incorporated. So I wonder where that is. Amplify Snack Brands. They don't give a web address for them, but you can go to Pocky, P-A-Q-U-I dot C-O-M dot com uh, and maybe learn more about them. Okay. Well, I feel like I have this nice little souvenir coffin, which I'm going to keep in a very special place. Thank you once again, Chrissy T. Arena and David T. Arena, for sponsoring the purchase of this so that I could suffer publicly. Okay. And um, I, I see that I've, I see a couple of specks, very small pieces of chip, or maybe the powder. So I want to be sure to wipe this down so that my children don't come over and use this table and then rub their eyes or something. Um, but I think I, I did, like a good surgeon, I, I turned the gloves inside out when I was taking them off. So I think any residue that's on those gloves are pretty well contained. But I will wipe down this table just in case. And by the way, that's <clears throat> even more true for uh, capsaicin. I mean, if, if for that pure capsaicin, whew, you, you definitely want to keep the gloves on for that one. So let's see what time we have here. It is... 25 minutes. I think what I will do, I can pretty much extrapolate. Um, even though according to this classification system, if I only go for 30 minutes, I'm not the most... I think if they, they had some rating system where if you go for an hour with no drink, like you're even more heroic, you're even more of a champion. But I can say honestly, and I kid you not, that at this point, if I go 30 minutes, there's no question I could go an hour. I mean, it's not... It's pretty much subsided. Um, you know, I don't... It, it might not uh, subside uh, when I get to round four and round five, but in terms of the, the mouth condition, the tongue, 
it's not not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to 30 minutes for the sake of completion. And interestingly, I I've never actually um like I said before, I had used I actually when I when I experimented with Carolina Reaper peppers before, I actually had mayonnaise uh as a fatty substance to kind of cut the pepper after I ate it. Um but I figured that was probably wouldn't be any better than heavy whipping cream. So this is this is a Horizon Organic Heavy Whipping Cream. Since I didn't have to use any of it, I think we're going to experiment tonight and make some whipped cream. So, hey James, we're going to mix this with sugar and we're going to whip it up and make some whipped cream tonight for dessert. Okay. Ha All right. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the half and half and maybe I'll just make myself some white Russians. I'll have to go out and get some vodka and um, some uh, Kahlua, but at least I got the half and half. Okay. And uh, this, of course, is just ice water. I, I would be perfectly fine with the ice water, but let's go ahead and get through 30 minutes. And um, thank you very much for your attention today. And um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, thank you, family, for uh, being less noisy than you normally are. We're actually a very quiet family most of the time. Just kidding. Um, we're pretty noisy family. So my family, to get them to be as quiet as it has been to make this video is itself uh, something that requires a lot of cooperation. So thanks, family. You're welcome. He threatened to kill me. No, I did not. My sons have a morbid sense of humor. For example, this is a true story. Just last night, I have to say this. I'm very proud of my son, James, because just last night, he wrote a short story for his writing class in fourth grade in which... The story starting out and the main character of the story runs over his father and kills his father. Or no, he doesn't kill his father. <laughs> he hits his father with a car. And then he calls his mother to come help out. And then his mother is in an auto accident as well. But then he wakes up and it's just a nightmare. So it's, at least it was a nightmare. But uh, it was actually a very creative story. And then his mom got hit with his brothers and sisters. Yeah, the, the auto accident that his mother was in on the way to help him who, when he hit, hit his father... Um, she gets hit by the siblings of the boy who has run over his father. So it's a it's a very morbid uh, and story. And the ambulance is on the way. To get it. <laughs> well, after I think at at that point the um, the it, he wakes up and it's a nightmare. So yeah. it's it's always a good save, you know, to, for it to be a nightmare and not really have happened. But if it kept going, he would call his grandma. Then the ambulance would hit that, and then. Uh, um, and then grandpa, grandpa will hit the police. Oh, okay. Okay, so you have, you've kind of thought, yeah, I thought of like, almost like a domino effect. Every person that got called would get hit by someone else, and then someone else would get called, and they would get hit, and it would just keep on going into infinity. It, it would be the story that never okay, ends. Stop. It just goes on and on, my friends. I'm about to count you down. Well, not guys until 7.5 billion. Five count, count loud. 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Spaghetti. 30 minutes. I made it to 30 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. Hey, sure enough, I can read the iPad too. 30 minutes. Wow. Woo. Well, That's pretty good Chex Mix. Oh, my son Jack is eating Chex Mix. And those have a little bit of spice. Yeah. Those have a nice little bit of those, the, the actual Chex things. They, they're good. No, I like this powder on it. James doesn't like it. You put powder on it, or the... no? That it comes with like a powder on it. That, uh, that's what gives it the spice. Oh, you like what it has in it? Oh yeah, I do too. Um, so anyway, okay. So we're over thirty minutes. Thank you all. Goodbye. And subscribe. Um, subscribe to Jack's channel, Blade Master Plays. Give us all internet points. Oh yeah, so we can get some internet points. Okay, bye bye, folks. <laughs>